welcome to your practice. As you're ready, find your way to sit up in Virasana. Hello, welcome back for your practice. As you're ready, place your hands onto your stomach, close your eyes. Breathe in and out of your nose with your awareness at your belly center. Inhale, belly expands, exhale, belly softens. Feel the strength of your core center as you inhale. And as you exhale, feel the strength of your ability to soften. Strength comes in many different forms and facets. Sometimes we need to tune into our inner strength and stand up for ourselves. And other times we tune to our inner strength and we allow ourselves to be vulnerable and cry and feel. What it means to be strong and powerful depends on the context of the situation at hand. Stay connected to your core, your power center as we begin to move. Find your way onto your hands and knees. Tabletop position. Connect to your ujjayi breath. Slightly restrict the backside of your throat as you breathe in and out of your nose. Inhale, reach your right leg back and your left arm forward. Flex your right toes to the earth, turn your left thumb towards the sky. Big inhale, breath, exhale, knee to nose around your back. Inhale, reach your arm out, your leg back. Exhale, I am powerful. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, I am strong. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, I am courageous. Inhale, lengthen. Release tabletop position. Switch sides. Inhale, left leg back, right arm forward. Toes to the earth, thumb to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, I am strong. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, I am powerful. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, I am courageous. Inhale, lengthen long and release. Tabletop position, find your way onto hands and knees. Curl your toes under, press your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Stretch your arms into the earth, press your legs into your mat. Hug your forearms towards one another, wrap the shoulders around the backside of body. Tilt your sitting bones to the sky, melt your heart towards your thighs, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, send your right foot in between your hands. Bring your back foot to a 45 degree angle. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Place your hands onto your hips. Back left foot, left toes face towards the left corner of your mat. Right knee stacked over front right ankle. Right hip back, left hip forward. From your hip bones, lengthen through the sides of your body. Extend your arms up towards the sky. Turn your palms to face one another as you gaze forward, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, place your hands to the earth. Lift your left heel off the ground. 
Come onto the ball of your left foot, shoulders over your wrists. Bring your heel toward your bum and your knee toward your nose. Tuck your chin, look back towards your right toes. Hovering high plank, right knee towards the nose. Step back, downward dog, right foot to the earth. Inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale, left foot forward, right heel to the mat. Inhale, warrior one. Front foot parallel to the long edge of the mat. Back foot at a 45 degree angle. Square your hips and shoulders forward, gaze forward, warrior one. Root down through your legs, extend through your arms and feel the strength of a warrior. What does it take to be a courageous warrior? To stand in your truth, to rise from this place of power. Jaya breath and strong. Lower your hands down to the earth. Stack your shoulders over your wrist. Lift your right heel. Hug your left heel towards your bum, your knee towards your nose. Tuck your chin to your chest and breathe into your core center. Ignite your fire. You are courageous and strong. Another breath. Step back. Downward facing dog. Lift your sitting bones, melt your heart, long neck. Press more through your left foot, inhale, right leg lifts, parallel. The hips are square towards the ground, right hip comes down, right toes point to the earth, big breath in. Exhale, right knee towards the left elbow, cross the body, look over to the left, come back to center, hug your right knee towards your nose, and gently place your right foot in between your hands. Lift high up onto the ball of your left foot, press through your right foot, inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. Crescent lunge. Practice your arms. Tone your belly, gaze at one point not moving, and feel the strength of your right leg as you shift your weight forward. Point your left toes back. Shoulders and hips parallel to the earth. Hands to the heart, Virabhadrasana three. Strong warrior. Feel the balance on your right leg as you point your left toes back. Bend your right knee, left heel to the earth. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Tap into your inner warrior, the courage it takes to stand on the battlefield. That battlefield looks different in our modern day life, but where do you have to stand up for yourself? Where does it take you courage to show up in your life? Lower your hands to the mat, step your way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Shoulders, hips square to the mat, left pinky toe points to the earth. Big inhale, exhale, left knee towards the right shoulder. Twist and turn, look over the right. Come back to center, hug your left knee towards your nose, round your back. Place your left foot in between your hands, low runner's lunge. Stability, strength in your legs. Inhale, rise, full crescent lunge. Left knee bent. Left, right heel lifted. Right hip reaches forward as you extend up through your fingertips, palms near one another. Big inhale. Exhale, practice your arms. Keep your heart open as you begin to shift into your left leg, strength on one leg. Flying warrior, hands to the heart. Micro bend your left knee, point your right toes back. Stay connected to your breath. Bend your left knee, lower your back right heel to the earth. Inhale, rise up, mirror of a dross in the one. Lower your hands to the earth, step your way back, downward facing dog. Lower your knees onto the mat. Tabletop position. 
Gaze to the back. Long neck. Spread your fingers wide. With your toes curled under, lift your knees off the mat and let them hover. Deep breath in and out of your nose as you activate the core. Ignite the inner center, the navel. Turn up the heat. You can imagine a little fire inside of your belly starting to ignite. Press your hips up. Extend your heels towards the earth. Downward facing dog. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Inner edge of your left foot. Vashti sauce in the side plank. Shift your right shoulder over your right wrist. Reach your left fingertips up towards the sky. Shoulders, arms, one line. If you want even more, lift your left knee up towards the sky. Stay connected to your breath and breathe deep into your core center. As you begin to come back to center, downward facing dog, Adhanuka Shwanasana. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot, inner edge of your right foot, shoulders, arms, one line. Reach up, look up. Keep your right foot to support you or option to lift your right knee straight up towards the sky. Wherever you are, deep belly breathing, connected to the Manipura Chakra. Come back to center, downward facing dog. Lower your knees onto the mat. Tilt your butt up towards the sky. My teacher calls this dirty maid. So tilt your booty up, walk your arms forward. Lower the forehead to the mat. Option to bring your chin to the earth. Anahata puppy pose. Walk your hands towards you, table. Press up and back, down dog. Look towards your thumbs, bend your knees, and hop your feet to the outside of your hands. Heels in, toes out, lower your butt down towards your heels. Yogi squat, if you're at home and you have a stack of books or a block, you can place it underneath of your sitting bones. Hands to your heart. Elbows to knees, knees to elbows. Those of you that wish to stay here, close your eyes and breathe. If you want to go a little bit farther and ignite your core a little bit more, crow pose, bakasana. Place your hands forward in front of you, shoulder distance apart, spread your fingers. As we did a few days ago, you really want to think about the foundation connecting to your hands. Bend your elbows. Create a shelf with the back side of your arms as you shift your shoulders forward. Look forward, shift forward with your heart. Option here to lift one foot and then the other, or one foot at a time. Wherever you are, you wanna gaze with your heart and your forehead out and away from the ground. Lift your chest, open your throat. Hug your heels towards your bum, draw the belly in. And when you're ready, lower back to your feet. Together, we'll interlace the fingers and just create circle eights with your wrists. And then go the other way. It'll be really awkward. Maybe next to impossible, like me. Good. As you're ready, reach your arms forward in front of you and trust that you're going to pull onto your bum. Navasana boat pose. Knees are bent. Hug your knees and your toes together. Reach your arms out by your sides, palms face up. Toes hug, knees in, and draw your belly to your spine. Option to straighten your legs or hold the back side of your thighs, whatever you need in this moment. Really activate through your core center, strong belly. And we'll begin to lower all the way down. And then rise up. And lower down. As you lower down, bring your hands to the left and swim to the right. Left, right. You still like me? Left, right, and lower. I hope we're still friends. Come to lie down on the earth and hopefully you feel some heat in your body. When we connect to the Manipur Chakra, we want to ignite the fire. 
the discipline and the willpower to be courageous, to stand up for ourselves, to know when to say yes and when to say no. Stretch your arms out to the sides, palms face the earth. Bring your knees over your hips, hug your knees and toes together. Lower your knees to the left and allow them to hover off the earth. Hug in through the center line of your body, come back and lower to the right. Back to center, to the left. Center, right. The next time you lower your knees over towards the left, let them stay. Left hand comes to the outer edge of the right thigh, look to your right, anchor down through your right shoulder. As you come back to center, knees go to the right, gaze to your left. Right hand to the outer edge of the left knee, twist and turn. Inhale back to center, hands onto your shins. Hug your knees in towards your chest, lift your forehead towards your knees and round your back. Pavana Muttasana. Lower your head. Place your left foot to the ground. Reach your right leg towards the sky. Flex your right toes towards your face and extend your right heel down and forward away from your body. Press through your right heel, lift your left leg up, and begin to activate your core as you slowly lower your left leg down to the earth. Inhale through your toes and your fingertips, stretch your body. Exhale, bring the knees in, round your back, hug in. Inhale, reach, lengthen, stretch. Exhale, come in. One more time, inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, come in and hold. Keep your knees where they are, lower your shoulders and your head to the mat. Hands onto your shins, back is flat. Soften your face. into Shavasana, heels in, toes out, it's just important, it's important for us to do and take action as it is for us to find stillness and calm, relax your forehead, cheekbones, jaw, relax your arms and your legs, Let your body come to stillness. your arms overhead, roll to the left side and rest your ear and your shoulder. With as little effort as possible, press into your right hand and rise your way up. Easy seated pose, hands to your belly, feel the heat and your ability to stay connected to your core. Hands to your heart in front of your chest. Namaste.